How's it guys? In today's video, TrueCut RD Works, we're going to be looking at how to trace a crescent shape. But before that, let's have a quick intro first. So today's video can be found on softwaretraining.co.za. We make short and easy to watch problem solving videos and we also have daily updates. Otherwise, back in the program here, now, just a quick reminder, this is a mini-series on design. I will also leave relevant links in the description so you guys can follow along. Now, in the previous video, we looked at tracing um, a star. Today, we're going to be looking at a crescent. And the reason for that is we get to use the curve path tool, which is located here on our left. Now, um, this, you know, once the, the shapes we get past that, they do become more tricky to trace. But uh, once you get familiar with our path, um, the curve parts work and you'll uh, find that it's actually not that difficult so now unlike the previous video i'm not going to show you how to import it if you're not sure just reference back in the description and then you can have a look over there so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to select the crescent shape and then hit the little view data zoom button then we on my um, drawbar here we're going to select the curve um, path tool and then we're going to start. I like to start at a point if your shape has a point. So then I'll start here on the left. And at first, I'm simply just going to click. You can, if you want, drag and try line these things up. But I find it's just more of a mess. It's easier to do it afterwards. So you can click there. And then I think I'm going to add one in the center at the bottom. And then complete the shape. Now, in order for our curves for for us to be able to edit it we want to go back to our drawbar and select the edit node button and from here i've got a few options so we won't be using most of these but um we can just make sure everything is right and as you can see here uh, it did not create us a closed path so then what you can do is select those two and zoom in here so they are both highlighted in green and then we're going to click this little button which says combine nodes and zoom in there as well so as you can see, it's got two notch points and shows one. So when we click that, you'll see it makes a, a line here between the two. Now I'm going to select the top one and simply just hit the remove note. Where, or delete note. And now we're left with three again. And now what I'm going to do is select these. And I'm going to first go and turn these into a straight line. So it's going to remove any type of um, curve points. And then I'm going to go back. We'll select them again and go back into curve now it's going to make sure all of these have uh, curvable handles so if i click here you can see these handles here on these triangles which means they are you can curve your node then we'll simply start by one point and slowly start aligning but if you have a symmetrical shape like that something to keep in, uh, in mind is try and make your nodes kind of mirror the other side so if I'm dragging this one down, don't try just to align this. Because if I have it there and then I'm trying to get this one to align, you'll see I run into this problem where it overshoots it. So you kind of have to fine adjust until you find where they are. But a good rule of thumb is try and mirror your nodes more. Then um, you will get a better end result. So then once you like it, you just grab it there. So it's just rough, but that's more or less a nice line. But as you can see... I don't know if we can see both of these nodes. They're not quite aligned. So you can try to be a bit more refined here. And then get something more in that line. Then what you can do is you start with the next point, which is the one up there. Start dragging this. And sometimes what will happen is once you drag your next point, you can see that it shoots the other node right up. I'm not sure why it does it at times. But um, I know in other programs you have different type of curve nodes. But uh, this program, you only have the one option that I can see. But in any case, so what I do is I just then carry on. So I'll try to get this side similar. So get it there somewhere. And then we're going to go to this bottom one and then try align this. The important thing about if you're working on a bend like this is to try to get this horizontal line as close as possible. Otherwise, you get one of those little pointed uh, areas where it pinches or so forth. And then adjust this one a bit to get that right. And then what I'll do now is I'll simply come back to this one. Pull it in where it looks good. And there you go. You've got your crescent node. 
obviously I would do this better if it was for a client at least I would hope so and we zoom out here move to the side and we can see we've got our shape traced like I mentioned before it's definitely more complicated than a basic straight line node but uh, this is the way you'll be going about with a curve node otherwise we head here to software training.co.za you guys will uh, notice we've got a variety of different softwares to cover and also you can isolate your search on the top right if you do not however find the videos you're looking for just go here request a training video and then we'll make that video for you otherwise thanks guys for watching and cheers